we've been remarkably lucky. We haven't been hit since Iniki, um, but it can it can happen anytime. Every every year we get our forecast from the National Weather Service, and this year because of the El Nino conditions, it's um, a slightly more storms predicted than normal. So. I'm not to say that during a low year that people shouldn't prepare, but you just never know what could happen. And not, it's not only hurricanes. Tsunamis could happen, you know, 365 days a year. We have earthquakes on the Big Island. There are so many different things. I'm not saying um, you don't want to have that chicken little mentality that the sky is falling, but it it doesn't hurt to have alert. extra things on hand and to take care of your family's safety. So what is the state civil defense doing to prepare for this and what's different from past years? Currently, um, we are engaging in conference calls with our federal um, partners, FEMA, um, also with the National Weather Service and getting involved with our county um, counterparts at the civil defense agencies and we're making sure that all of the state emergency response team um, personnel are informed through the civil defense coordinators. And so they know just in case something happens that they can come in and get to work on rebuilding the state infrastructure and um, rebuilding the economy. Okay, and so what happens when say the storm comes closer regardless of its strength or intensity, it's coming closer, what happens at that point for you guys? If it, um, if um, the forecast over there, let me change one thing really quick okay. for you, just to show you, the red is the hurricane force winds, the yellow would be the tropical storm force winds, and then the blue would be tropical depression um, force winds. and. Even if we only see 30, we only, we're only forecast with 35 mile per hour winds coming, when it gets over the Ko'olaus, it'll be much stronger. So you could see a lot of roof damage, you could see a lot of fallen tree branches. So we might look into closing schools and we would um, contact DOE and the Department of Human Resources Development and start the discussion about whether or not um, they should close schools or they should consider having state workers not report to duty. So it's just as important if it were a tropical storm, a tropical depression, a hurricane to stay alert and be here. Yes, monitoring. because of the geography, our unique geography and also our isolation. Okay, and you guys are going to be working throughout the weekend into the start of next work week. How is that going to work as far as your schedule goes? We'll have a small op cell here on our control point, and they'll be monitoring the situation, and they'll be available to take any calls if um, there's any debris on the road, if they need to contact the Department of Transportation and get road crews out. Okay. Um, now back to how you guys are preparing. I didn't quite catch it. Is there any preparation this time around that's different from what's been done in the past? Typically, we, we, we stick to this um, procedure, and we ha luckily, we don't have to do it too often, but we do, usually, as it gets closer, we do twice a day conference calls, and we also um, send out um, civil defense advisories to our partners. Okay. We're not going to brush up too much on the track, but as far as right now goes, where does it seem like it's going to affect the most? Um, Right now, it looks like it's coming. Um, it's coming for us, and we may feel some. They say it might become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Hopefully, by the time it reaches, um, and it looks like it's coming for towards the Big Island. But you never know. Up, weather systems um, up north could affect the track. Right. So anything could happen. Mm -hmm. Still within the next. Okay, uh, I think that's about it. Is there anything else that you want to add to it? Um, well, we recommend, we always recommend that people keep a five to seven day food supply, but we're also starting to recommend for your evacuation kits, just put a change of clothes and some bottles of water and, you know, some food bars in there. Something simple you can take with you to the shelters.